Well, hello YouTube. Um, today I'm just going to do a little video of my electric uh, bike. I'm going to show you how it's built, and parts I used, and such. We'll start off with today. Let's see here. First thing I'm going to show you guys is the motor that I used. This motor I actually got for free. Um, it was my friend's e bike that he bought off the eBay. But it was really underpowered and really slow, so he wasn't really using it, so I just borrowed uh, the motor that he was using. Um, it's a 36 volt. It's over volted, obviously. Um, so it runs up the frame. I'm using a 40 amp, 72 volt uh, controller from Crystallite. Let's see if I get a shot of that. There we go. Um, it's probably overkill for the motor, but I was hoping to upgrade in the future. In the back, I'm just using two regular saddlebags that I got off eBay. Probably about 70 bucks for both, or the whole set. I'll show you the batteries that I have in here. Nothing crazy, this is pretty much a cheap setup for now. Just give me a moment. Now I'm using uh, the just regular sealed lead acid, lead acid, uh, seven and a half amp, seven and a half amp hour uh, cells, three in each size. They're all in the series circuit. Currently using using to charge it um, two 36 volt chargers. So what I did was I put connectors, RCA connectors, I believe. Uh, for three batteries on one side to charge those three up, then another RCA connector on this side to charge up uh, these three batteries on this side. Uh, in between, I put a split so I can break the current when I'm charging, and also uh, act as an extra safety in case someone's screwing around with the bike. Other than that, I put the access wire in the back here. I use the bracket. It's just a regular bike bracket to hold the whole bag up. You know, it's not, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's holding from the bottom down there, as well as two brackets put at the top. And that is the e-bike, okay? And there's also one more thing on it. If you notice, I put a car horn on it. So in case you get like annoying people in the front of the road, you just honk that thing. I'm pretty sure they'll move out of the way for you. The last thing I'm working on is the, the amp meter. I did have it hooked up at one point in time. Um, just a little short on wire to run from the battery pack to the front of the frame to the amp meter. I don't know if there's anyone on uh, YouTube that can suggest a different way of putting this amp meter so I don't have to do that, but I'm pretty sure that's the only way you could run it. Unless I. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way you could run it. That's what I think. But anyways, if anyone could prove me wrong. Uh, I mean, let's see, I got a throttle shifter on here. Gear shifters are a little bit different. I mean, the bike wasn't really in actually condition when I got it. Kind of rebuilt it. And yeah, so uh, that is the bike. I'll do a video for you guys riding it just to see what it's like. Thanks.